Still struggling with your first smart contract? Stay solid because today we'll learn how to set up Visual Studio Code to make your life easier. Hello and welcome to the Decentralized channel. I'm Miguel and in this channel we share information about Web3 and blockchain development. So please help our channel grow by clicking the like button and subscribing to be notified about our next videos. So let's start to create our project here. We will create a new example and we start by uh, installing Arthat as in the, the previous uh, tutorial. This may take a minute. And after installing Arthat, we will initialize the project with Arthat in it. Today, we will try the TypeScript project, accept all the defaults. This will take another minute. And after initializing the, the project, we will start Visual Studio Code by typing code space dot. This will start Visual Studio Code in the current directory. And by starting Visual Studio Code, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the extensions that I'm using. So first one is uh, Slither. We will talk about this in a further episode. Solidity Visual uh, Developer, which will give you all the highlights and uh, all of these options here. Uh, and the development environment, uh, which uh, gives you the opportunity to debug this nice smart contract. So this is what we want to do on this episode. And so click on the Solidity development environment, new target and create from current open hard hat project. You just give it the name that you want, select the, the, the version, the Solidity version that you want and click create. This will create the debugging entry point. So what we have to do here is to import contracts lock dot soul, which is our smart contract file and create an instance of this contract. So we will do lock a new lock. So now if we go to the contract to the smart contract that we, we want to debug, we can see that the constructor has uh, a parameter. So we will pass uh, a parameter here block times Stamp. Oops, timestamp. Okay, so now we are ready to debug this. Let's go to the development environment and click the debug button. Select the, the debug test that we want to run. We just put a breakpoint there. And it seems that we forgot something here, right? Let's try again. Test one. And as you can see, the code stopped here. We just step into and we are inside the constructor. So it will run this require. It will most probably fail because the timestamp is the same. So yeah, it failed. So let's try again with something else. And let's step again. It now passes the, the require and it will set the unlock time and the owner just fine. So there you go. You can, can now debug your smart contract. See you on the next episode.